everybody and welcome back to the Handbag Angels YouTube channel. Today's video is all about the classic Chanel wallet on chain and I'm going to be talking to you about the bag in general, what fits, the pricing, everything basically that you need to know about this bag. So let's get started. Here we have our Chanel wallet on chain. As you can see ours is in the black caviar leather and we have ours with the gold hardware. The hardware is also intertwined with the chain of the bag. The classic wallet on chain is also available in lambskin but we personally went for caviar as we feel like this handbag for us is just great for any occasion. I mean you can nip out to the shop with it and just throw it on across your body, you can go on a night out with it, you can go out for a nice meal with it, it just suits so many occasions. So we thought right let's go for lambskin as it is quite literally bomb proof, we're not worrying about scratching it, we're not worrying about you know marking it like you might be on lambskin, so yeah that is why we went for caviar. Another thing to note is we have had this for quite a few years now and it literally looks brand new. I mean, the condition is literally perfect. And we really do think that is because we went for, cap for ugh, can't speak. We went for the caviar and any signs of wear just really, really don't show up that much at all. Nowadays, Chanel do have a really big push on their lambskin handbags. Um, the, their caviar products are a lot less common. They're a lot uh, more difficult to get hold of than what they used to be. Um, so I have checked the Chanel website this morning before making this video to give you a rundown of the pricing. And on the website, the caviar option like ours isn't actually there, but I'm sure it is available in boutiques. So the only price I could find for the classic Chanel wallet on chain like ours was the black lambskin version. And that is currently retailing for £2,190. If you are quite clued up on your Chanel handbags, then you'll probably know that for a Chanel handbag, that is a relatively cheap price. I mean, some of them, especially like the classic flaps, they are now so expensive, a good few thousand pounds worth. And I just think that the wallet on chain is such a good place to start with your Chanel handbags because £2,190, whilst it is still a lot of money, I do feel like it will fit into quite a lot of people's budgets for their first like Chanel handbag or just... I don't know, like just a first like luxury handbag. Chanel do offer a lot of wallet on chain or wok um, styles. They have the reissue version, for example, that is £2,360, so a little bit more expensive. They've got the boy version, which is £2,220. I do keep looking down because I've got a few notes in front of me. They've also got the 19 wallet on chain. Now I really like this. Um, online, they've not got many variations. They always do have more in store. Online, it was like a, a lime green color, which I personally am not a fan of, but the actual style of the 19 Chanel wallet on chain, I think it is lovely. And that one is 2,660 pounds. So that is a bit more of a, um, a pricier walk. But yeah, ours is just the classic wallet on chain. And like I said, £2,190 on the Chanel website for the lambskin version. Another point just to quickly add is that I was doing a bit of digging around online on like purse forum, purse blog, purse bop, places like that and I actually found that in the last five years the price of the Chanel wallet on chain has actually increased by 40% and to be honest I'm really not surprised with all the current Chanel price increases which are going on and just taking everybody by absolute shock because some of the prices of some of the handbags are getting a bit ridiculous now but yeah if you were thinking of purchasing a Chanel wok I would personally say that now is the time to do so because you just don't know how expensive these things are gonna get okay so back to the handbag itself I have already shown you briefly what it looks like um, just give you a closer look there. On the back there is a slip pocket. I'll show you what it's like on the inside. The classic wok actually has so many compartments. Like I do actually think you'll be surprised by how many compartments this little thing has. So as you can see there is a zip pocket on the flap there on the underside of the flap. I did briefly show you the slip pocket on the back so that's two already. You then have the front zip pocket so that's three. Um, three that is three. Um, you then have another slip pocket on the front there and obviously the main compartment itself. Inside the main compartment itself you then have, I don't know if it'll be quite difficult to see, but you have six little um, like credit card slots or like for cash or things like that. So all together you've got one, two, 
three, four, five, and then six, including the credit card slots. So you have got a lot of different spaces to organize your bits and pieces. And for a handbag this size, I do actually think that is quite impressive. Like I feel like they've really designed it quite in a really clever way because they know you're quite limited on space anyway. So they've given you all these other options of fitting other stuff in. I've just realized I actually missed a compartment. So in the main compartment itself, you then have the slip pocket. So you've actually got seven, which I think is just crazy for a handbag this size. There is a, another look at the interior. I'll sit this side. I'm trying to give you a better view, but I don't think, I think that's as good as we're gonna get with the light I have. Sorry if you can't see that very well. But yeah, and like I said before about the condition of our walk, even on the inside, there are hardly any signs of wear. I mean, there is a tiny little mark on the burgundy interior there, but personally to me, I think it is in like immaculate condition more or less. Before I go on to what fits in the Chanel wallet on chain, I do just want to talk about the sides of the bag. So as you can see, they do fold in quite easily. And um, whilst that's not really a huge issue, it does actually minimize the space that you have inside. Therefore, I do just want to quickly show you the Handbag Angels Luxury Wallet on Chain Enhancers. Now these are um, like pieces of sturdy material and they are enclosed inside our three millimeter felt like we use for our handbag liners. And they are very flexible and they, what they do is they sit inside your wallet on chains and they mold to the shape and essentially gently open up the sides and the base and they give you more room basically. I'll show you how easy it is to insert them. So I'm popping it in there and I'm literally just pushing it down ever so gently into the corners of the walk and it's in, you can just see it in the bottom there and up the sides and already the sides are literally opened up. So I'm pressing those in now and they're not folding and it has just literally opened up the walk and you have so much more room inside. I will link those below if you are looking for a way to support the sides of your Chanel and the base and you want to stop those leather creases and folds. And also if you're just looking for a way to actually get more in your wok, I would seriously recommend one of these if you have like a lambskin version of the wok because they fold even more than the caviar and over time that is going to like mark the leather and you're going to get some nasty creases in there. So yeah, big recommendation from us. Moving on to what fits, I have a phone here in like a Louis Vuitton phone case. That sits in the main compartment nicely and I feel like it really just depend on what you, what you carry and what you class as the essentials as to what you would put in this handbag. At the minute, I am taking a hand sanitizer everywhere with me. So I have brought one to show you that that fits in there nicely alongside the phone. One thing that I did struggle to kind of fit in here was my car keys. Now my car keys are quite bulky. Um, so I, as well as the hand sanitizer and the phone in there, my keys are quite a tight fit. I'll show you that there. So popping my keys in there only really gives me much more room in the main compartment for like a lipstick or a lip gloss, whichever you carry. So there are those four items in there. And does it still shut? Yes, it does still close. I mean, the hand sanitizer that I popped in there is a little bit tall. So I might need to invest in a smaller one if I was to take this out with me and carry hand sanitizer. Um, but that doesn't leave you any room for like a card holder. However, if you do have quite a bunch, like a, a bulky bunch of keys, don't forget that you've got all these other compartments that you can easily fit like your cash, your coins and your cards in. Uh, so I have brought like the small Kirigami by Louis Vuitton. I, would, I personally use this as my card holder when I'm out and about. This would not fit in. However, I could easily remove the contents of it and perhaps put them in the zip pocket for a bit of extra security or in any of the other like slip compartments or the zip pocket up here. If you didn't want to carry your keys around or maybe put them in like your jacket pocket or something like that, then the Kirigami does easily fit into there. And this is bigger than most card holders. So if you have like just a very narrow card holder, um, it would easily fit in there because like I said, the medium, the small, sorry, Kirigami does. And that's how that looks like in there. If you're carrying a face mask around with you at the minute as well, um, I, what I could, I personally would do is pop one in the back because it is so easily accessible by having it in that slip pocket or maybe even in the front slip pocket there. Also, all this is fitting in with our wallet on chain enhancer still sat in there. So by having our enhancer inside, it really doesn't take up that much room. And I've still managed to close the wok 
with all that inside and then like I said you could also easily get your, like your cash, your cards, a face mask in there. I would say um, this handbag is perfect if you really don't carry it a lot because it is a bit of a squeeze getting all that in there. If you are someone that needs so much stuff on you all the time, I really wouldn't recommend this bag if you were looking for like something you would get a lot of use out of. If you are one who carries a lot, you might get um, use out of this sit in the evenings if you were going out, but not on like a daily basis. And like I said, I would take this shopping with me personally because I don't carry a lot. I literally carry what I've just popped in there. So for things like going about your day, your day to day um, errands and things like that, if you are quite like a minimalist with what you carry, then this is perfect for you. You can actually wear this handbag quite a few different ways. So obviously you can wear it on your shoulder or across your body with the long chain, like how it already is. You can then also, I've seen people do this on YouTube and things, cross the chain over on the inside, like I've just done there. And you've then got some of the chain sat against the leather. Um, maybe not great to do this all the time because it may cause indentations in the leather from the hardware on the chain. But once you shut that up, you then have an even shorter chain so you can wear it at a shorter length if you'd like. I've also seen people double the chain up like this. I love this, I think it looks great like under your shoulder. And I've just done that by again folding like, like looping it together and having it sat under the flap like that. Also another way if you wanted to actually change up how it looks as in with the hardware you can actually have a little bit showing on the top there which I think I think looks really classy and like really elegant great for like an evening look and again I've literally done that by just having some come under the flap and then some going over and then I've looped it through like that. So yeah, lots of different ways that you can style the Chanel wok. My final thoughts on the Chanel wallet on chain, I absolutely love it. And I feel like I love it so much because it would fit everything that I need on a daily basis. Like if I was going out at the weekend and things like that. And I just think it is the perfect size and I just love how you can style it all those different ways that I did just show you. I am a bit of a worrier when it comes to designer handbags. So personally, I would go for the caviar just because I'm not worrying about like, I don't know, catching the smooth leather with my nails or something like that. But if you're more of like, not a worry I suppose. Lambskin may work for you, it really is personal preference. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully you will return to our future videos if you are just design handbag obsessed like us and it would be very lovely if you could subscribe and like this video.